Welcome, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're going to do an unboxing and background video on a very special pair of shoes by Francis Wapplinger uh, that comes from their made to order line. I'm very excited about these shoes. Um, this is a listing of the prices, so you have an idea of what we're getting into. And with that, we're going to go straight to a little bit of background. So this step was really just attaching the insole to the last. Uh, then he clicks the uh, leather, um, cuts it up, skives it, sews it together, uh, creates this uh, beautiful piece that he goes on there. Then that goes onto the last, uh, and then um, you know gets closed at the bottom um, onto the insole. And then he starts the Norwegian process of really kind of sewing it all together. Um, and then he builds a layer on there so that he can start doing the fiddleback waist. And here we have the finished product before it shipped out to me. Uh, take a look at uh, Francis Swapplinger's website. Uh, there's a lot of really good information here, uh, both on bespoke shoes in general, as well as um, himself and what he's doing. Uh, it gives a lot of really, really interesting insights uh, and can uh, really like help you understand kind of what goes into making a pair of shoes in the traditional, you know, handmade method. Um, you know, it's really, really exciting to read. He's got a lot of interesting things there. You can see what he does in his bespoke shoes um, and what type of options that he gives. There's a lot more options in bespoke. Uh, and this was a, a consistent theme. And when we talked was, you know, we're doing MTO, we're not doing bespoke. So what are the things that I can ask for? What are the things that I can't ask for? Um, and, and Francis was extremely gracious and, and very courteous with me understands that I'm new to this part of shoes and, um, you know, really helped me understand kind of what I can and can't ask for. Uh, bent the rules a little bit. Um, you know, we did do a, um, a an adjusted last for me uh, just because he wasn't super satisfied with the way they fit um, after the second pair of trial shoes. And um, so he did uh, uh, make some adjustments to it, sent me another a trial pair uh, that I could keep. Um, and then we... Um, you know, we, we settled on it from there and, and we were pretty happy with it. So, um, and I haven't tried the shoes on yet. So, I mean, this is all new, right? So that I try to do these things kind of in real time. So, um, you know, but it's a, it's a really cool process. I can't speak highly enough about Francis as a professional and, and his patience in working with me because I recognize I'm probably not the easiest customer. And, um, you know, he's really patient, really helped me understand kind of what options were. And uh, that's when we got into the, um, you know, when we ch started choosing leather, that was a huge part of the discussion 
and I um, recorded this short video here so you can see some of the options that we discussed uh, that uh, turned into the reality of what we're uh, what we settled on. So, uh, so this is just a quick video to talk a little bit about the leather choices that I had and what we looked at. So this is the first leather that I was pretty convinced I was going to go with. Um, very loud, very different. Uh, really thought that this would. Uh, you know, add a lot and have a very good look to it. And we talked through it. You can see I shined part of it and the other parts I didn't shine and uh, really tried to get comfortable with the idea of what I was doing. And um, he sent me, uh, you know, Francis, as I said before, so, so gracious, he cut off these little pieces to basically send me a swatch uh, with the first pair of trial shoes. And this is the leather that we chose, okay? And how, how it looked, this is what we made the decision off of. And then these are the other options that we considered, right? So you can see kind of um, the, the different types of patterns and so forth. And now what I want to do is I want to take this and compare it to this sheet. <laughs> I mean, what a difference, right? I mean, this is really, really different. Now he chose the parts that were much more similar to this. As we look at the final shoe, that final shoe has that really cool look about it, you know? So we started with this and we ended with that. You can see it when it stretches out, they get a little bigger. And you know, part of where, where I say he was very gracious and, and kind in talking to me is walking through what the difference is between this and when you stretch this out what it's going to wind up looking like and you know that's something that he as a shoemaker has a pretty good appreciation for and me as a shoe wearer have no idea about and that's what really made the process cool was getting to learn about this at a whole new level so take a look at francis's website there's just some really great stuff that out there to learn uh, he also has these really cool little articles and stuff that are out there um, just on different um, pieces of what he does as well. So a lot of good stuff out there. Uh, again, I can't speak highly enough of working with him. He's a, a, just a great artist and, and true guy. Welcome. Today, this unboxing is from Francis Wapplinger. Uh, it's a shoemaker in Brooklyn, New York, in the United States. Uh, he's a bespoke maker, and he recently introduced, um, well, recently to me, anyway, introduced an MTO program uh, that made the shoes a little bit more attainable. And so uh, working with him on a number of fittings, um, we wound up doing a uh, adjusted last for me, uh, which is very different than a bespoke last. But uh, he has uh, made me a pair of shoes um, that uh, I'm going to share with you today. Now, when you buy a pair of shoes with him, um, he actually um, provides you with the extra leather. Uh, so I'm going to use this extra leather and have a wallet and a watch strap made. Uh, but this is buffalo leather um, at, or bison, American bison. It's tanned in Mexico. And then it's uh, the distributor in Colorado does this really cool feature to give it this um, very different um, texture. And this texture... Um, is called dragon underbelly and i mean look at this this is just this is gorgeous gorgeous leather uh so i'm going to be sending this to a buddy of mine who's starting um leather crafting and um is going to uh make me the wallet and the watch but uh francis um made me a belt um uh, as part of this so i have a belt made with this leather already and he lined the belt did a really nice job um and um so i've got this beautiful basically uh like a bespoke belt and then a really nice pair of shoes so again talk about this is francis Loplinger, and he is again a bespoke shoe maker in um in Brooklyn, um, who has uh, who has made me these? So, let's take a look. And here we go. Now, if you look carefully, you can see these are Adelaides. Now, I mean, this guy skived these so tight, 
can barely feel that there's a cap and a U-throat here. It's very hard to see because the leather is so loud. But for me, this is really cool because he did a great job pattern matching it as well. So it does kind of disappear and the only one who knows that it's there is me. Um, and I like that. Um, this leather, I'm gonna wear it kind of like suede, um, but I could wax it if I wanted to, but I don't think I do. But now let's look at the sole work. Put my initials in there. Um, it's got this beautiful sole pattern that he does and he did triumph plates for me as part of this. You can see this has got a Norvegies stitch, which is constructing the shoe. And um, just everything is completely hand done, um, you know, and, and I have uh, um, some videos that I'll include in the, in the latter part of the video so you can actually see him, um, you know, building this out, building the insole, lasting the shoe, uh, putting this together, even putting the initials on. So again, I'm very, very excited about this. It's pitched heels, you know, building the heel. You can see him do all of these different steps and it's just incredible, incredible work on a pair of shoes made with incredible leather that candidly, outside of a process like this, I don't think I would ever even have looked at uh, not even remotely. And that to me is just so cool. It's really what I like about getting into fine shoes is the ability to have a vision. Well, in this case, we created the vision of what the shoes would be together. You know, he asked me what I liked and, and we talked about it, went back and forth. He sent me some leather swatches um, which I'll, I'll run through again in a, in a short, you know, add on to this. And, uh, and that has led to this and see, this is another thing. Um, he did this. So he's got my initials on the one pair and then we did a comet on the other and the comet is inspired by my favorite medallion on shoes that I've ever seen in my life. And that is something the hero has done that I saw on the shoe snob when I was first getting into shoes. And so I sent him the article from the shoe snob and said, hey, I really like this comment. Why don't you do something on the sole with it? But don't tell me what it is, just surprise me. So this is the first time I'm seeing it and I'm <laughs> just super impressed. That is very, very cool work. So again, um, Francis Wapplinger out of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I'll include a link to his page in the description as well as um, his videos of him making these shoes. <laughs> again, I'm so excited. Now, um, from a price standpoint, you know, I, I'll include the price page like I, like I do on some of my advanced uh, follow-ups um, on this, this is going to be more than just an unboxing just because this process has been so unique and I want to share it with you. Um, and so um, I'll include all that here, but take a look. And these are not inexpensive. This process is not inexpensive, but it is unique and uh, in my mind worth every penny, but it is definitely not for the faint of heart because uh, it is it is pricey, uh, but uh, you know, he's got to make a living and uh, you know, as you can see, um, has done some phenomenal work and uh, really, uh, you know, just the, you know, the, the whole experience has been just a joy. And I don't, uh, I don't want to understate that at all. So um, now this is, you know, bespoke quality leather, bespoke quality linings, bespoke quality soles, and bespoke quality craftsmanship on a ready-to-made last that was adjusted because it didn't fit my feet quite right. And so, uh, you know, when I had the first pair of trial shoes, they were um, they were too, um, too tight, my feet were numb, 
Then I had my second pair of shoes and I got a little bit of flexing here and there. So then we did a third pair uh, that he did on a, on a custom last for me. And um, you know, that was, that was right. And uh, there were a couple of small adjustments that he made off of that. Um, and now we have these. And now I'll have this last that I can do. It's a round last. Um, and he and I have talked about doing a chisel last, um, you know, for my next pair uh, and go from there. But again, this is just so incredible. I'll just be able to look. You can see the Adelaide. You can see the youth throughout. These are just plain special shoes. Um, I'm calling them my dragon hide shoe because they're called, the leather is called dragon underbelly. <laughs> I just, I, I can't get over it. I mean, just look at that pattern, you know, and, and he chose, hey, the best pattern for making the shoe is right here, you know, and it's got these striations. It's got this, this spotting. It is so cool, you know, and everything that he did here and the way he, you know, skived this like razor thin, you can see there how thin that is in order to be able to add the, uh, um, the heel counter and how he pattern matched all of this. It's got the brogue in there. If you look really carefully, you can see the brogues. Now, I am just using natural lighting on this. I'm not using any of my stage lighting. So what you're seeing is actually just coming in through the windows. I thought for this video, this would be just a lot nicer uh, because it is all natural. Now, if you do have trouble seeing, I apologize, and I can certainly do a video with lighting, but I thought it would be more interesting to go from there. And again, look. Isn't that cool? All right, so Francis Wapplinger, that's the unboxing. I simply can't wait to wear these. So I'd be remiss if I didn't include some great shots of the shoes. Uh, these shoes photograph exceptionally well and uh, wanted to share some of my favorite pics with you. So uh, these are just different angles that I took. Uh, you can see some of them. I just didn't even move the shoe. I just moved around. And um, you know, at the end of the day, they're beautiful shoes. I can't wait to wear them. Um, I really feel like they're going to be the epitome of my collection.